Hi guys, today I'm going to show you all how to back up a Mac to a USB external hard drive to touch to an airport external base station over the network using Time Machine. First up, you're going to need an airport extreme base station, a USB external hard drive, and a Mac of some kind. First of all, we're going to plug in the USB cord into the Mac book. Now on the Mac, we're going to go up to Spotlight to go into the disk utility. Once we're in disk utility, your hard drive should be on the left hand side in the sidebar. Click on your hard drive, click partition. On the left hand side, from volume scheme, click one partition. Now on the right hand side, name the drive, whatever you wish to name it, I named mine Time Machine Backup. Make sure the format is Mac OS Extended. Go down to the bottom to Options, and make sure GUID Petition Table is checked. Then click Apply, and Petition to Confirm. Once the disk is finished partitioning, you can then close Disk Utility. Then we can unplug the USB cable and plug it into the back of the Airport Extreme base station. Next we need to configure file sharing on the Airport Extreme base station. To do that, we have to go into the airport utility. Once airport utility loads, you'll see your airport devices on the left hand side. Click on the device that your airport is plugged into. Down the bottom, click manual setup. Once it loads, click on disks. Now you'll see the hard drive is plugged in. Click on file sharing. Now I've already enabled file sharing so I don't need to do anything here but you can select secure disk access by with just a normal disk password with your airport extreme password. Now I recommend don't use accounts because um, it never worked too well for me. Now can you, you can remember the password in your keychain. Now to your choice you can enable airport disks guest access but I chose not to. Once you're done click update. Now close the airport utility and now you're ready to configure up time machine. First of all go to finder and on the left hand side you'll see your airport extreme. If you click on it first of all it will come up with connection failed. Now don't panic on the right hand side of that you can click connect as type the password that you chose. Then click connect. Then you'll see your time machine backup disk. Just double click on that and that's all you need to do here. Then go to the time machine icon up in the status bar. Go into open time machine preferences and time machine preferences will open. Click choose backup disk and your time machine backup disk will be there. All you have to do is click on it and click use for backup. Now it will ask you to type in your password once again for the disk. Once you're done click connect. Then in about two minutes it will start backing up your Mac. Or if you're impatient like me, you can go up the top to the time machine icon and click on backup now. I recommend for the first backup, let it backup overnight and also use an ethernet cable just for that added speed. 
I hope that tutorial came in handy for all you people out there that always wish that you could back up over the network using Time Machine. And I hope you keep watching more of my videos and uh, hope to see you all soon again. Bye for now.